Hi, I'm George Cow, and in this short video, I'm going to attempt to give you my whole framework on how I create a streamlined, organized system for my business. Okay, so I'm going to give you five ideas here, and I'm always open to your questions and comments, so feel free to comment below if you have any questions you want to go, me to go into any particular one of these ideas. So number one is you need to clarify what are your core areas of concern for your business. And by the way, this can be applied to your overall life as well, but let's just talk business right now. Five core areas, uh, five core areas of concern. Actually, it doesn't have to be five. I recommend that you keep it as few as possible because every additional simplicity you can make in your business will free up more energy than you can imagine. Uh, it, it free up more energy than, than it seems it would, but just keep your business as simple as possible. For me, I have five core areas, content, enrollment, joyful productivity, service improvement, healthy money. I, I've made lots of videos about these things. Uh, but you know, c c come up with your core areas of concern for your business. And that's the first idea. The second idea is that you now you need to create placeholders for each of these core areas of concern. And where do you put placeholders? You put it in three places. One is your calendar. Okay, so I use Google Calendar, and within my Google Calendar account, I can create as many sub-calendars as I want. And so I have a, I have a sub-calendar for each of these five core areas of my business. So that, for example, uh, I make sure I schedule time to, to do, uh, to spend time improving and, and growing in each of these five core areas. And if I do that, then my business continues to, to you know, improve and thrive, okay? So, like, so it doesn't fall, any, none of the important things fall through the cracks. That's why you need a placeholders for your five core areas in your calendar. The second place you need placeholders is in your to-do list software. You need sort of categories for your to-do items for each of your core areas. So I use the to-do list software called Wonderlist. It's free. It's free on the f on smartphones and on the computer, on the web, uh, W-U-N-D-E-R-L-I-S-T. I'll put notes in, in the notes of this video. I'll put links and other details that, are, that you might need. Um, so I have a separate task list category for each of these core areas of my business. Okay? The third place you need placeholders is document folders. I use Google Drive. It's, just, it's free. It's wonderful. It's all secure, private, online. And I have, I have folders for each of these five core areas of my business. So you see the pattern here. You need placeholders for the, five, the, the core areas of concern in your calendar, in your task list categorization, and in your uh, document categorization, okay? The third major uh, idea is that you need, a, you need an idea capture um, and clearing uh, system that you can trust. So when new ideas come to you, what do you do with it? Do you put it on a post-it note? and put it somewhere and you start accumulating all these post-it notes, that's not a good way of doing it. You need to have some, like for example, I use Wonderlist to capture my new ideas. Um, and then at the end of the day, I will put that new idea in the correct folder, okay? So that when I'm working on that area of concern, those are all my ideas, okay? So you need an ca idea capture system that you trust. It's easy for me to pull out my phone anytime I have an idea and put it in my Wonderlist, right? Uh, so you need to have an idea capture system and then you need to have an idea clearing strategy. So I have a, a blog post I'll put in the notes of the video called um, a system for email productivity. It's how I keep my email uh, really organized and I, my email inbox is at zero. I have no, not, no emails left to, to, to process at most, most, of my, uh, most days of the month. It's at zero. Uh, and it doesn't take me that much time. It probably takes me as, as much time as you do on email. Maybe I even take even less time. So you need to have a system to capture ideas and clear them. Uh, email, you need to clear that on a regular basis. You need to clear your to-do list. The, the things that are due today, you need to clear that and postpone it as needed. And you also need to um, uh, clear your computer desktop and your physical desktop. So how do we keep these things, making sure they're cleared continually? Well, the fourth idea I want to give you is a daily review process. Okay, I do a daily review in the morning, a daily review at the end of my workday. <clears throat> and the daily reviews reminds me of what's important and also gives me the time to organize the day and or at the end of the day to clear my different inboxes, whether it's a computer desktop, physical desktop, or my, my email inbox. Um, and I will, put, I will give you my daily reviews template in the notes of this video as well. 
And then the final, and it's, it's so important to, to institute your daily review system. If you don't have a daily review, you got to institute it. Otherwise, you're going to forever feel like you're, you're just going on the whims of whatever idea you have. And it just you'll feel de destabilized. But with the daily reviews, you'll feel much more centered, stabilized, and therefore able to act proactively rather than reactively. Okay? Um, and the fifth final idea I want to share with you before I close this video, which is getting long, is you need to have an um, essentialist mindset. You need a real, or another way of saying it is you need to have a 2080 mindset, meaning you need to always be thinking the things you want to do, probably 80% of them are really not that important and not that, it's not going to give you a real impact on the goals you want to make in your life. Maybe only 20%, and this is not an exact number, it's just the idea of most of the stuff, most of the things that come into our life, emails, tasks, ideas, are not important. And we need to continually be pruning most of the things in our lives. And that's called an essentialist mindset. And I'll give you in this notes my summary on what an essentialist mindset is. It's a wonderful book called Essentialism. I have a book summary on it. I'll put in the notes as well. So I hope that in a whirlwind tour of my mind and how I organize uh, my entire business and also my life. This is how I organize my life as well. So I hope this is helpful. I hope you'll take at least one idea you heard and implement it. That's the most important thing. And keep watching and, and re-watching this video or looking at my notes as needed to implement another one and another one and another one until you feel really good about your own streamlined system for everything. So until the next video, I wish you calm, clarity, and joyfulness as you approach your organizing. And uh, of course, I, sh I wouldn't be, the video wouldn't be complete if I didn't show you my sweet dog buddy there. All right, have a wonderful day.